This is an ABC News special report. Now reporting, George Stephanopoulos. Good morning. We're breaking a regular program right now because there was an active shooter situation in Pensacola, Florida. The Navy, Naval Air Base of Pensacola, Florida this morning. Active shooter opened fire. It appears that there have been several injuries. Some reports that nine people have been taken to a hospital. The shooter has been taken down. That is the Naval Air Station in Pensacola, the home of the Navy Blue Angels. I want to bring in our chief global affairs anchor, Martha Raddatz, for the latest on that. The second attack on an American naval base in a week, Martha. It, it, it sure is, George. There was the attack, um, a sailor accused in the attack on uh, Pearl Harbor in Honolulu, Hawaii. So there have been, they have been on alert for a shooting like this. We have no idea whether there's any connection at all. It may be purely coincidental, but already the injuries reported at Naval Air Station Pensacola are about 20,000 people at that air station, about 16,000 families and military, and the others are contractors there. But think of this as a real community. It is where a air training happens. Uh, it is the home of the Blue Angels, but almost every aviator gets trained there and air crew. Okay, Martha, thanks. And the Navy is responding right now. They've just put out a tweet. I want to put it up on the screen right now. The active shooter is deceased. One additional fatality has been confirmed. Unknown number of injured people being transferred to local Hospital. Stephen Ganyard, uh, you were an, an aviator yourself. As Martha said, this is the home of the famous Blue Angels. It is, George, and it's where all naval and marine aviators uh, start their careers. Uh, it's also where naval uh, flight officers and naval uh, officers who are going to fly airplanes go uh, for their, their officer candidate selection. It's a, it's a unique base in that it's almost all exclusively for training, and so there's a very large civilian population. So I uh, would not be surprised to see if there were civilian casualties involved in the shooting. Yeah, 16,000 military personnel on the base, 7,400 civilians on the base as well. And Steve, we have seen these situations unfold, not a second, as we said, this week at other military bases as well. Any way in that kind of environment to be completely secure? Uh, probably not, George. I mean, uh, you know, there there are restrictions on bringing weapons on board naval bases, but or aboard uh, any military bases. But uh, they've been loosened in recent years, and so it's very much being like out in the civilian world. If people have a gun and, and they want to commit an act of violence, uh, it's very difficult to stop. That is live video you're seeing there from Pensacola, Florida. It was a huge reaction from local police and the ATF. Uh, apparently unfolded around 7 a.m. local time this morning. The, shooter, the active shooting situation began. Shots heard around the neighborhood. Uh, the base went into lockdown immediately. As we've said, we now know that there's at least one other confirmed fatality, several injured right now at local hospitals. Um, and Martha, this is going to hit that naval community so hard. Uh, so hard. And, and let's remember Fort Hood. Uh, there were two shootings, two massive shootings on the Fort Hood Army base. Uh, military personnel are well aware this can happen and they can sometime be targeted. The information I'm getting is that this was in a training building of some sort. Uh, my source did not know whether it was for air crew or for aviators, but it was described to me as a uh, a training school type building. I'm not saying children. It was not a children's school. It was a training building of some sort. Of course, this is very early information, and everyone is trying to gather as much as they can at this point. Uh, to Steve's point also, I think people always think, oh, well, people are armed on these military bases. Uh, they are not supposed to be, except for security personnel, uh, and it is highly likely that it was a security personnel uh, who uh, shot the active shooter. The response was swift. Our chief justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, is joining us by phone as well. We saw that massive police presence, Pierre, the ATF, the federal ATF responding as well. Yes, ATF is there to give support. I suspect the FBI Secret Service will be involved as well. George, these incidents, uh, men, women showing up with weapons and killing people in public places is becoming uh, a national uh, problem in the sense that we're seeing more and more of them. Uh, you just had the incident in uh, Hawaii just a few days ago at the Pearl Harbor uh, facility. And law enforcement knows that this has now become a phenomenon in which people know that there are these public places that can show up and do such harm. And they're trying to do studies to figure out how to prevent these type of activities. 
What more can be learned uh, as people are descending towards this level of violence? It is a huge issue. I also am being given some guidance that uh, the Justice Department is monitoring the situation very closely. Again, it's a military base. That strikes a lot of concern when law enforcement officials hear of such an act, George. Sure does. A sick and sad sign of our times. Again, active shooter situation in Pensacola, Florida. Over now, the shooter is dead. 15 casualties taken to local hospitals. They are being treated right now. One fatality confirmed. We're going to go back to our regular programming. For many of you, that is Good Morning America. And of course, we'll be tracking this all day long on abcnews.com. I'm George Stephanopoulos in New York. This has been a special report from ABC News.